All right, what is up, YouTube? It's Mrs. Zuni back out with another video. Let's get straight into it. I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time. Um, my thoughts on drip, unbiased opinion. I'm just gonna get straight opinions or facts, depending on how you see it. Uh, and we're just gonna get straight into it. All right, so it's been no secret that drip has been going down and going to oblivion. But let's take a step back and let's look at the chart here. Obviously, you've seen many charts just like this. Now, I want to bring out just the main couple facts about the project, right? In my opinion, straight out of Forex mouth. So the project was intended, intended to be a community-driven or own project, right? So the community or the investors or gamblers, whatever, they were going to dictate how this project went. All right, so that's the first thing. Second thing, obviously, like I said, we are in a bear market. And if we scroll out, uh, even a year ago, let's just say everything was still October. We're still in October right now. Um, you know, it was pretty safe to get in most things because we were already knowing we were going on into a, a, a bear or um, a bull run or um, exiting out of the little dip that we had in that summer of 2021. So it was pretty safe. I'm not guaranteed, but it was a lot more safe then to get into projects. Granted, you're going to be dealing with volatility here, right? Um, you're going to be dealing with volatility here, obviously, if you get in, get out. You're going to have these dips. But the idea and the main goal was to get to the top, to ride this all the way to the top. So $14, $13, $15, $20, all the way up. Now... Another thing, when you look at this, when you look at this, this chart here, the top came a few months after the potential end of the bull mar bull cycle in this in um, November of like ninth tenth. So all of these wallets here were accumulating, were accumulating, were accumulating all into here, and then. When they knew it was a bear market, they just started dip, uh, you know, getting out. But the big, big picture is, this is when crypto as a whole, everyone in crypto, was slowly but surely getting out. I know a lot of people sold in January, not just drip. We're getting out of the market. We're saying it's time to get out of stocks, the market, everything, and then we've just hit a crazy down. Um, turn because of the potential future bear market that was going to happen. Now, if you're looking at this, this chart, we're still in a bear market. I think we're down around like, let's just get from 100, let's do 170. I think it was like 180 or something. But if we go down here, we are around the 80, um, 90, about 89. We'll just say 89 or 98 um, percent down from all time high, right? Now, I believe this is where the FOMO happened, to be honest, in this early January time here. This is when people were hearing about it. This is when I heard about it. I didn't get in, um, kind of just watched the chart, kind of just, just looked at it, and it's been inevitably just going down. So, what I kind of want to talk about is that now that we know that this is a community driven project, most of most people are out of crypto as a whole. So meaning think projects in crypto are hurting and there's going to be the pretty much standard that 90% of all crypto projects will fail. Now, if we hold those three things into consideration and if you know that even going in here, March, April, we know we're in a bear market. We know it's going down. We know everything's crazy happening with the war. You know, it would not be an ideal situation to throw, you know, 5K, 10K, $100, $200 into this when you know that you're still going down. And the charts have shown nothing but a decline since, like I said, everyone pretty much got out of the market when people were saying, I'm getting out, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. Um, now let's look at BNB. One of the big 
top three, top four, top five projects, they had the same situation, right? So all time high was six hundred dollars. Now let's check, and that was like November. Here, we're around a fifty. We're we're down fifty percent. All right. If you just held on to projects long term, and you bought this bad boy, um, you know B and B from. Uh, let's just say a hundred dollars or so you still be up 3x in a bear market now you earn one percent a day on drip right so you're earning one percent but realistically what you're doing is you're earning one percent of your tokens now that you started with 100 and now you have 300 now that you have four five six hundred a thousand but those tokens are now cons worth 89 percent off or you know you have maybe a percentage of that value that you did before if you bought at all-time highs which most people did so how are people saying they are doing well in drip how are people saying that they are making money now there's a couple of reasons the big influencers are getting referrals from people who they're saying Oh, it's a good time to buy. It's a good time to buy. It's a good time to buy. Now, I'm just I'm just telling you what I've seen. This is what's going on. This is what was going on all in through here. Everybody was saying, get in, get in. Too late. It's going to be too late. Oh, we have a bounce. We have a bounce here. We have a bounce. We have a bounce, right? But inevitably, we <laughs> bounced all the way down to a dollar and um, 70 cents or so, whatever your price was right now. Oh, we have a spike. <laughs> we have a spike a dollar a dollar eighty now if you bought a dollar seventy <laughs> you're down a lot uh, if you bought a 200 180 190 150 100 dollars 80 dollars 90 dollars 60 dollars 50 40 30 you're earning one percent of that yes now, if you weren't taking profits, honestly, you probably didn't come out. And if you weren't getting referrals, you probably weren't making much money. If you were solo dolo, you probably made you probably made nothing. You probably down a lot. Now, now that we have talked about that, right? Is drip can drip come back? Yeah, sure. It's a community driven project. But what's what are we in right now? What what's going on in the whole world of uh, crypto? Not much. A lot of projects are getting are are just dying. You know, you have projects leaving. You have projects like Seifu that are starting over in a new token. Maybe that's a smart. Maybe that's the smartest thing to do. Start over. Start over here. Or start over and then just <laughs> tank. You know, I don't know. You start over, at least you have a shot, and then you go down. I don't know. I think that's what probably what's gonna happen with Seifu. You may a lot of people are hurting. Bam, spikes up. It might might tank. People might exit because we're in a bear market. So people trying to get money, trying to get money. Now, if we go into the pig pen here. If we go into the pig pin, oops, let me see. If we go into the pig pin, what's going on with the, the whole pig pin, right? We are starting a new project, starting a new thing. Now, Forex isn't making any money off a of drip maybe he did buy some and maybe he sold a little bit maybe he didn't i don't know but he says he's not making anything he's making money off of animal farm that's where he's making his money so he's focusing on the animal farm token token but i'm starting to think that once the drippers realize that their money is now worth 99.999 of what its value was 
I think they're going to start taking money out of here. And I think the same thing is going to happen if we are in a multi-year bear market. The play in DeFi is just to survive. I think I've talked about it a long time ago when I first started. But the idea is to survive. You're making money and get out. Um, and that, I think that's just the play that we need to do. Now, I'm not saying Animal Farm token may go to $1,000 or whatever it goes up to. Sure, it may. Because everybody's probably lost their money here or got their money out. Put it in this bad boy because it's the only thing that's really left in DeFi. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe half of them put it in DeFi in in this, and maybe half of them put it in to your BNBs and your Cake tokens and Ethereum because you know Vitalik is going to be <laughs> going crazy. So. And maybe they ride that wave all the way back up from four dollars to what twenty, thirty dollars, you know. And they know for sure it's not going to do, not one hundred percent for sure, but they know for sure it's going to last at least a couple years for them to accumulate, because DeFi we accumulate within weeks, months, and it's pumps and it's gone. So I think that a lot of the drip influencers are going to be coming to the realization that their money is gone and the project is dead. And I think once that happens, I think Animal Farm is going to get affected and they're going to take everything out of this one. And then, you know, I think that could happen, especially if we're in a multi-year bear market. People need to eat. Remember, people need to eat. Maybe, you know, you've seen people saying that they, they uh, got out of crypto or they quit their job and they're full-time crypto. What happens when money dries up and they need this? So you got to be aware. Bear markets, like Richard Hart said and a lot of people have said in Hex and everybody, it gets worse before it gets better. And it looks like we could get a little bit worse. It could last a little bit longer than it expected. We're not sure. So I think... Just because people say, they think the biggest thing for Drip is like, oh, it still works. Yeah, it still works because 98% of the value is gone. And when you put your money in this, think about it. You're putting BNB, you're putting real assets. We already looked at it. At the all-time highs, it's still, it's only down 50%. So if they made a million, they're at a half a million. If they made two million, they're at one million. But what is the Drip token they're paying you out worth? <laughs> a dollar. 98% of all-time high. 1% of inflation, crazy infl infinity money. So you just have to think about what's going on in the big picture and don't get too caught up on marrying these projects and staying focused on the, I'm a drip maxi or I'm a whatever maxi. I think you should just try to get money, be smart about it, get in, get out, make your money, be happy, and rather have it be, dang, I should have stayed in a little bit longer than Oh, man, I should cut out. <laughs> so that's just me, my opinion on the whole drip dead situation or whatever. Um, I don't see any point really putting money into a dying project, a dying ecosystem, a dying community. Because if you go on the drip community, you have Futters, you have, well, you know, you have a bunch of everything, I guess. But what's the sentiment of the project? Everyone knows we're losing money. No one needs to really say that. If I say that in the drip community, you probably get kicked out. But that's what I am just want to put that out there. I'm going to start making my videos again, but I kind of need to get this out there and just talk about it because I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. And like I said before, um, all I'm doing is stacking good cryptos, uh, cryptos that I know that are going to be around for a while, a couple gamble play cryptos, and uh, trying to get more as much money as I can working extra things, doing whatever I got to do, extra selling extra stuff and to keep um, accumulating into the stocks and the crypto world. And that's pretty much my focus, getting into DeFi plays um, like Optimus. Optimus was a good play to get in. Oh, it's even spiked. Um, who is that? But I, I, I literally put in, you know, put in a little bit early on the first day, I think when it came out and I made a good amount of money and you know pulling all of that out before 
at like a dollar fifty ish. I've been cashing a lot of it out, um, and putting a little bit back in, just with seeing what's going on with Optimus, the the Polygon. I haven't put anything in in this yet, the BNB side. I'm wanting to, but I'm still kind of being cautious because I'm not sure what's going on with the whole DeFi and everything. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Have my money, have my you know stables, have my positions. I'm kind of accumulating in. I'm not really in a rush to put it in. Um, and see what's going to happen because obviously like we've seen time and time again sometimes the one percent of days two percent of days just don't last now this one is a little different and i'll probably make a video on it i think i made a video when it first got into it but i'm not 100 percent sure i don't remember what i did but the videos i made but yeah i don't want to make this super long but yeah guys i'll see you in the next video peace